Alright. Hey guys! Welcome to the shop again. This is Clint Harp and Andrew Shots again, making a regular appearance these days. Yeah. Every tutorial has just fallen right into your wheelhouse so far. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so Andrew is live with me again today at Harp Design Co. Today, Andrew, what are we going to show the peoples? Uh, we're going to look at a tapering jig for tapering legs. A tapering jig for tapered legs. So please raise your hand if you have ever wanted to know how to take a square post and make a perfectly tapered leg. Me, I did, and this guy over here, Andrew, went and figured it out. Now here's the thing about working here at Harp Design Co. You quickly learn that Clint Harp doesn't know what the heck he's doing, honestly. I'm just figuring it out as I go every day. Well, we, we all that way. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. We and the DIY spirit. We have the DIY spirit, exactly. So that's how I started this business was jumping in my garage and just figuring it out as I went. YouTube videos, asking people, just trying on my own, figuring it out. And then all of a sudden I find myself years later surrounded by a team of guys and we all put our heads together when we want to figure something out. And, uh, and so in this case, Andrew, you figured out the tapered leg jig for us. You found another pattern yeah, for one if, online. If anything, you just get on YouTube. You get online. Yeah. 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 There's a ton of resources out there. So Andrew made this guy right here. This is tapering leg jet tape. Oh, see? You're laughing. You're all laughing right now. It's because I cannot get that out of my mouth without messing a it up. Tapering leg. No, tape, I, it's just a, a tapered leg. A jig. tapering jig is better. Tapering I like leg, that. Yeah. I'm fitting in the leg thing, and that's throwing everything off. But it's a tapering jig. So you got this little deal down here. You loosen that up. Okay. Excuse me. And it closes. You might have messed up your wing down here. Um, yes. So. This closes like that, okay? And you basically open it up at the angle that you want your, to taper your leg at and you start cutting. I'm gonna show you, then we're actually gonna put plans online for how to build this jig. We're gonna show you some parts here, but it'd be a little too complicated to show you exactly how we do it uh, you know, in a little tutorial. We try to keep these around 10 minutes or so. And so we're gonna kind of show you a little bit about that. Um, but for the most part, we just want to show you how it works. So, you take this guy over here, okay, open him up, open that down. Alright, so, here we go. I'm going to throw this on here. And you see here I've got a perfectly squared post. All right, maybe perfect size for a coffee table, something like that. Here's what we're gonna do. No, I need glasses. You know what? Take the curtain. All right. Here we go. There is a tapered leg. For dramatic effect, I'm going to, uh, Andrew, go ahead and let's spread that out even farther really quick. Okay? And I'm going to taper this leg even more so you can see what you, uh, how much you can do here. Go ahead and do this. It's kind of spinning pretty tight. There we go. All right. By the way, if you're ever wondering how to make uh, little shims, you can that. Your off cut is a perfect shim. Britt, tell me how much you love a good shim. It's all figured out as you go, folks. That's the way this works. Okay. We made a mark here where we want this to actually hit. Okay.
Now you can see, perfectly tapered leg. You can go around and do all four sides if you want, um, or you can just do two in this case. Yeah. As we've learned, I think the traditional arts and craft look is just to do the inside, or shaker, shaker would be the style. The shaker style would yeah. be just to do two sides, and those become your insides. So the straight side is the outside of the table, okay, and then your angled sides are the inside. All right? Yep. That's kind of the typical way of doing it. So as you can see, we've got now a tapered leg, which is really, really fun. Um, because that is a style that a lot of people love. It's pretty simple, but it also gives kind of like a little more character to uh, a table. It's better than just straight legs. Exactly, yeah. and not everybody's turning yep. um, on a lathe yet. And so in the meantime, you can jump on the table saw and make your little tapering jig. And the next thing you know, you have a little more interest in your legs. They're not just square. You actually have some tapered look. Yep. Okay, so Andrew, walk me through really quick. If I want to make one of these at home, how can I do this? Now again, we're going to put this plan online. We're not going to make this completely. We're just going to show you sort of the idea behind it. What do I start with? What are my two basic components right here? Okay, so you, we just did these two by fours and we you know, plan them, join them. We get them all square. Nice and square. Yes. Make sure they're the same width length okay. and same width. Okay, and then you and clamp then them together. Clamp them together so that I can attach a hinge on the top. All right. So that so allows you gotta have a hinge. for this to move back and forth. Okay, so you see that hinge he was talking about, here's the, the more done version that allows these guys to go back and forth like that, okay? So you got to have that hinge. That's step number one, okay? And then from there. And then uh, we, we bought these, um, yep, these guys. Uh, I got it. First, you, you have a insert nut. I don't know the name of the tool. I just got it's literally you know called the insert nut, and so it'll, whatever. And it'll go down in the piece. And then so you drill a hole. You know, and the bottom, right here, again, here's what the finished product looks like, okay? So this guy right here, the wing nut, has to go into the insert nut, okay? So you're going to actually tap that in. Do we have a hammer we can tap or screw it in, excuse me? So it just goes in. Yep, Easily. once it grabs, there you go. Yeah. So now you've got your, your insert nut, it's in there. We have started, see this guy right here, where it kind of goes back and forth. Andrew, will you hand me the drill? We are showing you literally the easiest way to do this, or uh, I don't know what happened to it, thank you so much. We cut a little piece out right here, nothing major, all right? And then we literally cut holes in it. We just drilled through it like this. Okay, and we would just keep going. We marked out our space, keep going. Then we're gonna use a chisel, and we're just gonna chisel out the edges so that essentially you have a little grooved uh, pathway to go back and forth like this, okay? That's the simple way to do it. Now somebody out there is going, oh, I could use a router for that, or I could use a something, something. I get it, and you're probably right, and we you know, have that ability here as well. But what I'm trying to do is give you kind of an idea, home uh, uh, shop gal or shop guy who doesn't have all the fancy tools and all that stuff, here is a basic way to make the most simple jig to do something that is actually really, really cool. Um, as you can see, this is not a very fancy thing we got going on here, but it makes something that's really, really cool. So you then attach... So, you attach this little piece to here, you have your winged nut, okay, and that's going to go into your insert screw, and voila, washer. then you have, there's one more piece, you would okay, then you're going to attach right this piece, yep, that piece right there, so that's your stop block for the leg. See, so it's very, very simple. Now again, we are going to put these plans online, so don't look at this and go, Wait a second, I don't understand. I get it, I know. We're just trying to give you some sort of reference so that when we do actually have these plans online, you can go in there and go, oh yeah, right, that's what that's for. We are coming to the end here of 10 minutes, so we don't want to run on much longer, but that is it, guys, a tapered leg jig. You can go home, you can impress all your friends, your wife, your husband, whoever you're making something for, and you can make them a little coffee table with a uh, tapered leg. And My first piece was a tapered leg. Yeah. yeah. Now, when did you do the... Your first, the turn is tapered. Oh, that that was 
a little farther yeah. down the road. Yeah. That was impressive too. So yeah. that's that's the next tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> Not really the next one, but yeah. So, but the first step though is is uh, table. That's pretty impressive that that was your first. Um, First thing? First thing. It was well, a, a tapered leg. I watched Norm growing up, so, so I knew what to do. That's all you got to do. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, did, were there any questions that came through along the way that we need to address? Okay, good. I'm sure that doesn't mean that we answered everything and that you don't have any, but uh, as you have questions, please post them uh, on this video. Then we will uh, upload the video with the blog post here shortly, um, again, with instructions on how to make this. And uh, all the parts that you need, it's not very many, I think it's like three or four, yeah. you know, parts. It's like $10 in parts. Yeah. yeah, this is a very cheap jig to make. The next thing you know, you're making really, really cool legs. Okay, thanks guys so much. Hey, happy Easter, um, happy Passover, and happy any other holiday that falls right now yeah, uh, around this Easter time. I don't want to leave anybody out. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun time for everybody. Hope you all get together with family and friends. Other than that, do we have, do we have anything? I think we're good. I think we're good. Until next time. This is Andrew. I'm Clint. Britt's over there. Demi's back there. There's Annie, Maddie, and uh, Joel, and Marcus, the guy with the dimples. Everybody's here. So we're all just going to get back to work. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you, and we love you. Next time. Bye.